hello everyone and welcome back to stylish ninja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for your love and for your support okay so in today's video we're going to be sewing this doll man dress so you can see it's actually a cut together dress with sleeve together that's what we're going to do today with a center rope so i'm going to be making use of two yards of fabric so if you find this video helpful please i would appreciate if you hit on the like button like this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel already please subscribe to my channel follow me on all of my social media platforms at stylish niger let's get started so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to fold our fabric but for the front because the front i'm going to add a color to the front so i'm going to be opening the front so i'm going to open up one of my pieces right now um, that's what i'm going to use as my front and piece okay i have um now have my fabric folded so i'm going to explain what i have and how i folded it so the uh, part that i'm uh, that i'm using to make to fold my fabric is the length of the sleeve that's the half of the across back and measurement which is that's from the half from the center of your back what I'm using is about 20 inches. That's what I'm using. The allowance is included. So I'll just pull it so you see. The allowance is included. So the sleeve is actually 19 inches. That's from half of the back. Let me just say this is the half of my back to where my sleeve is going to be since it is a doorman. So I'm using the 20 inches. And then the first measurement that I have here is my bust line measurement, which is 10 inches. And then the waist measurement is 17. The 17. That's where I'm going to be adding the rope. And then this is the hip um, measurement, which is 26 inches. And then I have the full length of my doorman dress, which is 14 inches. So I'll just use this um, remaining part as my head folding allowance. So we're going to uh, continue right now. We're going to start imputing our measurement okay so the first uh, measurement i'm going to be imputing now from this center point so i'll move it so you see it properly is the neckline uh, measurement so, so for the neckline i'm adding i'm using three and a half inches it is going to be a v and neckline but i'm just going to cut it out round first before i work on it i'm going to cut the back and the front first so i just want you to note what i'm going to be doing so from this point i'm going to come like this I would use a one inch so this is for the back neckline and then the front neckline I'm going to be opening the front so I'm going to use and um, from this point what I'm going to do I'm just going to remove this and uh, same uh, measurement I'm going to remove this and uh, same measurement but I'm going to reduce it as I'm coming down I'll reduce it because I don't want the the dress to be open in front so i'm going to reduce it from the bust line point i'll reduce it to two inches because i'm going to replace it back with a collar with a straight collar so you see it so i'll reduce to two inches i'm just going to cut off two inches which i'm going to replace and back so from the top part from this top part i'm going to continue with the three and a half inches so i'll rule it straight out now for you to see okay towards and the down part i reduced i reduced it from the down part i reduced it by to one inch so that's from the hem line towards the hem line so this one is my two two inches so i'm going to cut out the back now and then i'll cut out this straight line for only the front piece before we continue so the, the front the back neckline is cut off and then for the front so let me just continue before i cut out the front let me let's leave the front when we're done we cut off the front so in order not to confuse it so you see it, it will be, still be obvious so we're going to continue now from this point i'm going to come like this i'll drop by 1.5 inches I'll, i'm going to use that 1.5 inches as my shoulder slope okay so i've done the shoulder slope so we're, we're, we're going to cut it off now so i've cut off the shoulder slope but you remember you see our front and neckline is still here i've not cut it out so i just want you to see it properly so in order not to confuse you 
so from this point now this end of our uh, sleeve measurement i'm going to come like this you are going to create your sleeve opening it depends on how big and wide you actually want your sleeve opening to be so remember the inch that you are going to use to stitch it put that into a consideration when doing this so i'm going to use nine inches so this is my nine inches and I'm going to use that. So this is going to be my sleeve opening 9 inches from this point to this point. So we're, now, we're going to start imputing our measurement. Now make sure you divide all of your measurements. Divide them into 4. So I'm going to divide my own measurements now. So remember this point. And then I'll add my allowance for ease because I want it to be free. I don't want it to be tight. I'm just marking it like this. So the next uh, measurement, so the same uh, measurement that I have on the bust line, I'm just going to take it and bring it to the waistline part. So the hip and part, I'm going to add my hip line and measurements now. So you all of you add your own measurements. You uh, increase it. You could uh, decide to increase. You could decide to add allowance as much. Like I told you initially, when making a dress like this, you could you have two options. It's either you use the person's regular measurement, that's the actual measurement, and then you add about four to four inches, uh, four four inches allowance for ease, or you could decide to just uh, measure the person with the tape. For instance, if you are measuring the sleeve now, how free you want it to be, you could just decide to measure it from the or from the original measurement, and then you know how free you want it to be. So that's the two options that you have. I'm just trying to explain this. So because at times people they will normally ask how much uh, allowance did you add. So these are how you know how to add your allowance that will make the dress free. So I'm going to add my my hip uh, measurements now, and then I'll add my ease to it. And then the same thing that I have here. I'm going to take to my hemline. So I'm going to mark, connect all of my lines now. So I'll connect these ones first, and then I'll show you how to blend this part. So for this part, here is what I'm going to do. Because I'm trying to create, I'm trying to create a curve. I'm trying to create a curve like this. So this is where the measurement is. This is the measurement. So I'm trying to create a curve. So here's what I'm going to have. So I'm going to blend it. In order for me to do that, because if I do it like this, I'm going to run into problems. So in order for me to do this, to make it really simple, I'm going to come down again by one inch. And then that one inch will enable me to blend it properly. So you see what I have now. It is blended and properly. So I'm just going to blend it out to this part. So I'm going to cut it out now. So when stitching, after stitching this part, I'm going to notch, notch this part in. So to give it that. So once I notch this part in, it will give it that relaxed effect on the dress. So you see, you see the dress. You see, it's looking, it's looking good and beautiful. So I'll trim out this part a little bit because it's not, it's not equal. So we have our back and our front piece. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out the front neckline. So the back neckline is okay. So I'll cut out the back and sorry, the front neckline. So you see what I'm going to do. So I'm cutting it out from the entire width of the neckline. I'm using that's this point now is the three and a half inches, and then from this part, that's which is the bust line, is two two inches, and then from this hem line is one inch that i'm using on this part so i hope you understand so that's that it is really simple we're done the next thing we're going to do now we're going to go and start stitching together so i'm going to show you now how to join them together this is the the, the back piece so this is the back you are going to decide um what you want to do with your neckline if you want to um, finish your neckline with a bias binding or you want to use an um you want to cut out facing so you choose most times i always prefer and uh, making use of a facing so i'm going to i'm just trying to show you how it is going to look like 
I'm, I'm not joining my side seam yet. I'm just going to go and join the shoulder part. That's what I'm going to join. We'll join the shoulder first before we fix the collar. So this is here is how it's going to look like. So I'm going to stitch the shoulder and then stitch this shoulder also. So after stitching my shoulder, I'll come back and then we'll cut out the collar. It's really simple. Even a be as a beginner, you could actually pull this off in no time. So let's just go. I'll do that and then come back. So you can see I've joined uh, my dress. I've joined it on the shoulder line. I joined the shoulders together just like I explained to you. I joined it on the sh along the shoulder line both sides. The next thing I'm going to go and do now, I'm going to join the side seam. So I'm going to use a quarter of an inch to join my side seam. I'm going to use quarter of an inch. I'm just going to join the side seam together. So after joining the side seam, I made a strap, just a, like a long strap. So I just used um two inches of um I, I cut out um, from my Ankara. I used the uh, 45 inches and in width of Ankara. I measured uh, it in two inches. So you could see this is two inches. That's what I'm going to use as the collar. So I joined it together so I'll have a very long strap that will run through. This is how it's going to run through. It's going to run through. This is the down part of my dress. It's going to run through like this. And then run through the neckline. And then from the other side, it's going to come to the hemline. So because I joined, I actually joined it together at the center. I'm going to fix. I'm going to start fixing that part from the back. So this is the right side of the back. I'm going to fix it like this. I'm going to take this point like this. I'm just going to fix. It's just simple. I'm just going to fix it straight like this. So after joining the side seam, I'm going to join this also like this. I'm just going to keep joining until I get... This is the right side. Until I get to the hem line on this side on this side and then do the same thing to this other side so i'll just go quickly do that iron it and then i'll come and show you how we're going to create out the casing that we're going to use for the rope uh, waist okay guys so before i continue i i was um, supposed to go and join the side seam and then fix the collar just like i explained to you but i made pocket i decided to add um, pockets to it but i'm a little bit unsure on my fabric right now so I just made, uh, the pocket I made is not really a um, big. So I'm just going to attach it here. I'm going to use 21 inches from the shoulder to 21 inches. So all I, I did, I just did, since I did not have enough fabric, I just did a square um, um, fabric, that, uh, sorry, square pocket. So I used 7 inches of, of 6. That's what I did. Okay, 7 of 7. So it's a, it's a complete square. 7 inches, 7 inches. I made it uh, about an 8 inches and then used the other one inch to tuck it in. So you see what I did? I folded in it inward like this. I folded it inward and then I ironed it down. So I'm just going to place it now. This is the 21 inches line. I'm going to, um, from this um, point, from the collar point, so I'm going to do two, two, 2 inches. So that's just like the distance from the collar part. So I'm going to pin it down and then stitch stitch it okay so for the neck collar now so this is the center part of my my collar here's what i'm going to do now i'm going to fix it this is the center where i joined it together so i'm just going to place it here and then i'm going to stitch it around just the way i explained to you earlier on i'm just going to fix it around so once i'm done i'll use an overlock seam to close up the edges to make it neat So this is the front part now so i'll do that now and then come back for us to come and fix show you how to fix the the rope the casing for the rope yeah okay so i've so i finished teaching it so the edges you are going to put a notch remember this curved part like this you are going to put a tiny notches around it the essence of putting these tiny notches is to enable the 
the armhole part let it relax and properly so i'm going to iron it so this dress you can still uh, call it a kimono what i just realized now is that this dress you could actually decide not to just the way it is now that we're finished uh, without um adding without closing the front you can decide to even leave it this way also just put your rope your waist rope and then it's going to now be like a kimono also but it has it's going to have a rope it's really um, beautiful so i'll just iron and then we'll, and come back okay welcome back guys so you could see i finished fixing i've joined my side seam i've joined the side side seam together i fixed the pocket i've joined the collar like i said so i just said it is a straight collar and then i fixed it all the next thing we are going to do now okay what i did i made and two two ropes here i made two ropes this one i just um cut a long and strap of fabric and then folded it together and then just and give it a stitch you could decide to use um a bias for this it depends on how slim you want it to be just make your own choice and then the length of the rope you could decide to choose how long you actually want it to be so what i have here is about um, two yards that's two yards of um, fabric that's the stretch and then i made another um kind of like a rope so this is what i'm going to use for the casing so you could see it this is what i'm going to use for the casing i just um because this part is savage so i just left it and then i folded this part in and, and ironed it down so we're going to be and uh, stitching I'm going to be stitching the two edges so that this rope now will not be able to pass through this um, point and then the inches that I use I'm just going to the inches that I use is about and um, two inches so when you fold at the end of the day once you fold like this you'll be able to stitch it neatly so it's going to still be okay at the end of the day and then the next thing I'm going to do now how we're going to create our casing we're going to run this we're going to run this um, case that I made. We're going to run it through the waistline from this point like this now to the end. To this end. We're going to run it through. So what you are going to do, you are going to determine where you are going to have cut, where you are going to place your, your casing. That's where you want the rope to be. If you want it on your waist, the upper part of your waist or the down part, you are going to determine that. And then you measure from your shoulder. That's from your shoulder measurement. Let me place it this way so you see it properly. You measure from your shoulder, from your shoulder points like this, to where you actually want yours to be. So mine, I'm, I actually made use of, use of 16 and half inches. So I'm going to place it in between 16 and 17 inches. That's what I'm going to do. The casing, I'm actually going to place between 16 and 17 inches. But the line that I made, I made on 16 and half inches line. So you could see the line i made it from this uh, edge so it ran through to the other end of the of the dress of this and uh, kimono dress so you could also call this a kimono so at the end of the day once i'm done that's when i'm going to close the front and uh, part so what we're going to do now we're going to go back to the machine i'm just going to explain to you here's what i'm going to do i'm going to take my casing like this and then i'm going to place it like i said i said i'll i'll place it in between i'm going to place it like this so i'm placing it in between like i said and then this part this uh savage i'm going to tuck in like this and then place it in between and then i'll give it a top stitch i'm going to stitch you stitch with a matching thread i'm going to stitch along this line and then stitch along this side also i'm going to do that to the entire stretch you understand i'm just going to keep uh, stitching and then i'll stitch this one also just make sure you pin it you decide to pin it down before you start and then i'll continue like this i would stitch until now until i'll get to this other end of my of the dress until i'll get to this other end and then i'll stop here for this you could decide to do this in two ways you could decide to add elastic if you don't want to do a full and casing you could decide to add elastic you could decide this and um, back piece this is the back piece you could decide to just use elastic on this back piece that's you just cut out a strap of elastic and then you stitch it here and then this part is already 
and folded and then you could just decide to case just from this part to this part and then you case from this part to this part so in doing that once you case from this part to this part you are just going to put the rope on this side and then add the rope on this side but the middle part will have elastic on it so you could decide to do it that way so but mine i think i'm just going to case everything and then just put the rope and pull all together so that's another way of doing that so i'll just go and stitch it and just as i explained to you and then come back and fix the and join it the front to together okay guys so you see i finished stitching it you could see it is and uh, the thread on this side is not even showing so i'm going to turn the back now for you to see so i'm going to bring it close so close to my and camera so you could see how it is looking at the back the, you could hardly not see even notice the thread so that is how it is going to be and then on this side so you could see the inside so this is how the inside looks like you could see it's neatly done inside the next thing i'm going to do now before i put the rope i'm going to show you how to close the front so like i was saying you could decide to leave it like this there are some of this tie that they actually leave like this you don't uh, need to join the front you are just going to leave it like this and then once you put the rope you put it on and then you pull and then it closes on its own together and gives it a very good and covering you could rock it with a jeans you could rock it like that you could just wear something inside and then rock it like that but this i'm going to be i'm closing a part of it so i'm just going to do a quick explanation for you to see how i'm going to close close it right now so i'm going to place it like this and then i'll pick any part so this is the part where the rope is going to come out from so I'm, I'm just going to put this on top of this like this no okay let me take this so this is the part where the rope is going to be i'm going to place it like this so here's what i'm going to have here's what i'm going to have what i'm going to do now i'm going to take it to my machine from this part this is the part where and the rope is going to cut this is where my rope is going to come out from which is the, my waist which is the waist part so from this down part of the waist i'm going to do a top stitch i'm going to do a top stitch i'm just, just the way it is like this i'm going to use a clean stitch from this down point like this i'm just going to stitch it to the hem line this is the hem line this other extra part i'm going to cut off this whole part is allowance i'm going to cut it all off so I'm just going to do a top stitch from this point like this. I'll take it straight down to this hem line like this just to secure it. Okay, so it's only this top part. That is the part that will be open. So, but because um, of the kimono nature of the dress, it's going to be closed. So once you put it on, it's still going to be covered and secure. So I'm just going to go and do that right now. Take this part, like I said, I'm just going to run a stitch straight down. And then I'll fold the down part and then for my sleeve so for your sleeve you could choose and to do a turn up for your sleeve so for this I'm not actually not going to do a turn up I'm just going to I'm just going to fold I'm not going to do it I'm not turning it up I'm going to fold it I'm just going to fold it in so I could use hemming gum I think I should do hemming gum I'm just going to use uh, my hemming gum I'll tuck it in like this and then use just iron it down with my hem hem gum so it's going to be secured and it's going to look neat that's what i'll go to i'm going to do now and then i'll come back and show you the complete look on the mannequin i'll show you how to insert the rope and then i'll put it on the mannequin for you to see okay guys so you see our dress we are so done with it so you could see the waist you see and the stitch the top stitch that i was talking about so this is it so i just ran it through so it, that helps me now to secure the down this part that's from the waist downward so if you still want to uh, do the same thing to the top part all you have to do is you just and um, push it in a little bit and then you you just push it in like this just still push it in like this from this point and then you secure it to how and why do you want your your neckline to be just secure it that way so it will still and uh, work like that so in fixing our elastic now you're just going to use your pin or whatever and way you normally um passing thread into or passing um 
elastic into your cases and then you take it like this and then i'm just going to push it through this point and then i'll push it in and then bring it out from the other part so once i'm done i'll put it on the mannequin for you to see just keep keep pushing it through because it is a straight case you are not going to have any problem so you see okay so and there's something that i realized so i'm going to try to explain to you now so this rope you see what i did i made a tiny uh, on the collar i made a tiny uh, cut so the rope comes out up like this so you could see you know i passed actually passed it in from the inside like this so here's what i'm going to do now on this point like this i'm going to make a tiny cut just like i did on this side you're just going to make a tiny cut here just beside so you could pass out the rope to the front from that part so i've made the tiny just a tiny cut and then what i'm going to do now you just it's just that cut is just for you to pass the rope to pass it out let it come to the front so that's just like the the basic essence of that rope so you see how it is looking now in the front so this dress is looking so beautiful i really like and the outcome so i'm just going to show you the final so to see the back so you see how beautiful it is looking okay guys so at the end of the day so you see what we have it came out and um, beautifully where our, our waist um our rope waist um dress dorman dress actually came out beautifully well so you see the back so you see how beautiful the back is looking like it is really beautiful it came out so so well so you could see the front this was what i was talking about it's really and well covered so you don't need to you need to fear nothing so thank you so much if you find this video helpful and you have not subscribed already please and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and hit on the like button also i'll see you in my next video bye and god bless you